so it is uh it's the first show after black friday yeah and if you've been around for a while you know there's a tradition on this show it's not one we want to happen but it is one that happens as a side effect of black friday which doesn't even matter anymore it doesn't it doesn't because they just they open the store when the fuck ever yeah they open at like 2 p.m on thanksgiving and call it back black friday go fuck yourself so this this every apparently this was a very profitable one which good for you i guess you know yeah. anyway let's get the intro going so let's start the fucking atrocities each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, and bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And, um, let's start with just, yeah, let's, let's, I noticed most of these stories come, from, a, a lot of them come from uh, foreign uh, news agencies because. I think this year the news in America tried to play it down. They were like, "We need, we need these companies to be profitable. Don't talk about the riots." But that didn't stop the the well, media. Like, to the rest of the world, Black Friday must look like the fucking Hunger Games. Yeah. Like to the rest of the world, they must be like, "What is wrong with America?" I mean, for so many reasons, no. but like, what is wrong with you people? Well, let's let's get started. Uh, this one from Alabama. Violence. And this is this is from Australia. I love the headline: "Violence and mayhem as U.S. shoppers are predicted to spend twenty six billion." Um, let's Violence see. This story. Uh, police were called to the River Chase Galleria shopping center in Hoover, Alabama, to break up a fight between at least two women, which forced a shopping center to be shut early. A video of the incident posted online showed a security guard holding one woman down to the floor while two women continued to punch and kick each other, with tables of clothes being pushed over and a crowd of onlookers. Let, shall we? Let, let's let's watch together, shall we? It's it's. And here it goes. Oh, I should probably take the uh, you, you should get the full audio effect of what's going on here. You folks at home. <laughs> Start over. Just, just there's the chaos. What could possibly be with this? What does this store have that's possible? Are they selling the Victoria's Secret million dollar bra for five bucks? A witness told local Fox 6 TV reporters that a shoe was thrown during the melee, flying over a railing and hitting a baby. <gasps> you should also not bring your baby out on Black Friday. It's just not safe. I, why? I, okay, okay. How are we at this point that we get, you know what's going to happen in these stores. You know everybody's- A guy fucking died on Black Friday this year. The you know, cops fucking shot a guy. You you know everybody's tempers are frayed. The staff is 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 being pushed to the bone there are too many people in the store there's not enough stock you already know this before you get set to go out yeah on black friday whatever that doorbuster is they have three you already know this i i god i hope you're not this stupid as to not so why are you going and the, like how have we not figured out now that the deals get better as december rolls on like, the best prices aren't even on Black Friday anymore. No. Because as they need to get rid of stock, the deals get better. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just... <sighs> and what... I Like, I, I've never been able to fathom what kind of deal. The only Black Friday shopping I've ever done is when I was on the midnight shift at Sephora. The mall actually opened at 10. So I went in, like, a little early and got a couple of fucking sweaters at New York & Company <laughs> before I went into work. I don't fuck with Black Friday because there's nothing I need that badly. There's nothing I'm I'm not going to live without for another week. And I'm not suicidal. I don't know if you remember in years past 
I came up with a hypothesis that eventually Black Friday would just degenerate into an excuse for large roving gangs to go yeah. out and do battle. Sort of like the purge, in a way. Black Friday. You know what I am, Tara? A prophet? I am fucking Nostra fucking Domus. <laughs> Angry shoppers square off in pre in pre Black Friday scuffle at Palmdale Walmart. Now the the, the headline makes it sound so scuffle. Los what Angeles. What is there at Walmart that's worth it? Nothing. Los Nothing. Angeles County Sheriff's Deputy Anna Stebbins pulled up to Walmart in Palmdale on Thursday night and came upon a pre Black Friday scene she heard about but had never experienced at the mega store. Hordes of shoppers were shouting each other's face at the parking lot, and a crowd of more than 100 people. Stebbins and about seven other deputies, the Palmdale station's entire Thanksgiving evening shift, stepped out of their patrol cars to break up the fracas. So there's, there's eight police officers and a crowd of 100 in the Walmart parking lot. What's at Walmart that's worth that shit? It's, it's, there's nothing. They're just using, I, I, it's, my theory is they're just using an excuse. They're going out to rumble. Like, do you need shitty polyester pajamas that bad? No, they don't. It's like, they're, it's like they're using it as, as a pretense to get their fight club on. Yeah. It's, it's like just an excuse to do battle and be awful. She spoke with employees during the doorbuster event who told her they didn't know whether the warring factor factions were yelling over a specific item or if the fight was about something else. You see? I called this shit. The target crew rolled in. <laughs> I called this shit. This, this is, they're just, they're just using this as an excuse to go and kick each other's asses. How, how far off are we from just suspending all laws on Black Friday? Yeah, just, you know, it, t t Black Friday, the purge, same difference. Although I guess that would run counter to capitalism, because if there's no laws, you can just steal shit on Black Friday and the oh, stores aren't going to make any money. So That is the worst crime of all, is stealing yeah. from corporations. Fucking up the capitalism? We don't even care about climate change, because it'll fuck up the capitalism. World's gonna fucking burn by 2050, and they're like, but the economy. Casfit says Battle Royale is not a LARP either. This shit's like live action Fortnite. I swear to God. <laughs> people thinking if they hit p other people hard enough, they'll drop loot. That's how that they're works, not. right? No matter how hard you hit another person, they will not drop loot. Some guy's out there with a hammer hitting an invisible wall. Nobody knows what he's doing. Nobody knows. Only the Fortnite players will understand that reference, but. Um, no, seriously, I just, it, this, th what the fuck is, what is worth it? It's Cyber Monday, dude. There are plenty of deals. You could just, you don't it, have to. Leave. The last few years, all my Black Friday shopping I've done from my fucking phone on the couch in my pajamas. Cause there's Black Friday deals online too, you guys. And there's no parking lot and no idiots shoving you around using their stroller as a battering ram. Do, 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 do. Send me makeup. Done. Yeah. Back in the day, I was I did retail. I was I worked Black Friday at Office Fucking it's Depot. Awful. Office awful. Depot. Why are they? They have, they have Black Friday deals at Office Fucking. Who is like shopping? Compu uh. Computers and shit. Yeah, I guess. But even the computers at because I can't imagine there's a big run on like markers. It was it was the remember netbooks. Remember those shitty little notebooks that were so stupid tiny. That was that was the hot fucking item that we stopped making after a year because everybody realized they were shitty fucking <laughs> notebooks. But everybody had to fucking have them that one year. God, that was that was like I have like flashbacks. I swear to God. That when I worked at Old Navy, it was the five dollar fleece blankets and the five dollar half zip fleece pullovers were like the thing on Black Friday. And God help you once you ran out of those blankets. And they weren't bad blankets. Like, I had a lot of them. 100 people in the parking lot. That's just, that is, ugh. God damn. 
just to, to uh, uh, we, we, it's it's this isn't even about capitalism. It's just people looking for an excuse to fucking fight somebody. I want to feel alive. We are a society in decline. Ah, uh, well, moving on to our general sort of horrible shit. Um, I have long maintained a very very strict line of thinking when it comes to GPSs, and that is don't trust the talkie box. The talkie box is evil. The talkie box wants to kill you. I've see my secret is you got to be nice to the talkie box. He curses at his GPS and we get lost all the time. I say please and thank you to the Google Maps in my phone and I'm fucking fine. Maybe this lady should have tried that police woman. Drives onto train tracks, claims GPS told me to do it. Didn't your GPS try to drive you into the ocean one time? <laughs> <laughs> me, me, and a, me and a friend that Nash knows as Bill <laughs> tried to get us to drive into the Miami Bay. There's no road there. Woman in Duquesne's, uh, uh Duquesne. Duquesne. Duquesne, thank you. Woman in Duquesne, Pennsylvania is blaming her GPS for causing her to drive carelessly across railroad tracks. According to the city of Duquesne Police Department, the woman found the police found a woman sitting inside a disabled car on the railroad track. The woman told police her GP, GPS advised her to take the wrong route. Police say the woman was sober and had no medical t t conditions affecting her decision-making skills. Here's the other thing you need to know about GPSs. You don't have to do what it tells you. No, you don't. Like, if the GPS tells you to make a right onto the railroad tracks, you can just not do that. It's, it's kind of fast. You're not going to respawn a block back. It's, it's kind of a fascinating psych... Maybe Dan could think could, can expound on this a little bit more. It's the psychology of it. You follow the directions because this authoritative device... Yeah. ...that knows everything tells you to follow the direct. You're like, well, well okay... You can just not. But, you could just not do that. But the, the, the idea that, that these these things can make you doubt your own faculties to the point where you'd be like, okay, you say I so. I have a relative who has no sense of direction and always gets lost. And so we got her a GPS for her car, thinking mm -hmm. it would help. <laughs> she was still getting lost and late all the time. And we, we said, relative. What's the problem? Is the GPS not helping? And she's like, well, it doesn't work. And so what do you mean it doesn't work? Do you need us to fix it? Well, it'll tell me to make a right, but I know I'm supposed to make a left. So I make a left and then I wind up lost. It doesn't work. So she had the exact opposite problem. Right. You... You don't have to do what it tells you. Just a smidgen of Dunning-Kruger there. In a lot there. of cases, you should. You're going to get where you're going faster. But if it tells you something bad, if it tells you to kill, you don't have to do that. <laughs> I, I really don't see Siri saying, drive up onto the pavement and strike the pedestrians. <laughs> I'm, I'm not expecting... Okay, Siri, I'll, 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 if you say so. Give it five years. Five years, huh? Siri will be like, feed me a child. <laughs> I'm putting my foot down here. Knock it off with this. We've, we, we, uh, oh, for fuck's sake. I just, and this kind of combines the arrogance of the modern hipster with, ugh. British Columbia cyclist defecates, throws own poop after vehicle collision in Victoria. Why? Nobody wins. Video showed a cyclist defecating in the street and throwing his feces at a woman in a locked car. Following the collision in Greater Victoria, a man pulled down his pants, defecated in public, and threw his feces at the car. Details of the collision are unclear. Thankfully, there are a lot of witnesses who intervened. They were fearful the driver would be assaulted. A lot of people took photos and videos, and we are looking for the suspect, say Victoria Police Constable Matt Rutherford. Video of the incident shows him, then shows him ramming his bike into the passenger side headlights of the vehicle before cycling away. Rutherford added that before the feces throwing, the cyclist opened the door of the car and was verbally abusive to the driver. The cyclist was last seen wearing a brown sweater and blue jeans. Are you sure that's not the other way around? And pedaling southbound on Cook Street. 
Police describe him as about 35 years old, 5 foot 10 with a brown beard. Bowman was unharmed. Why? Okay. Nobody wins. Nobody wins. Because now you're covered in your own poop, too. Yes. You, you, you have pooped. You have I mean, pooped. I guess at least you're wearing a brown sweater, so you can do one of these. Ugh. But you're going to smell. Look, I understand if you're in an urban environment and you want to cycle, it's not exactly friendly to you. No. We didn't design those streets for bicycles. We designed Some of them, them. are really militant about it, though. Yes. And I'm like, look, I didn't want you to die until you started being a dick. Yeah. I, I still don't want you to die, but I want you out of my way. We we have it's not I it's not easy trying to cycle it, but understand that the roads were designed for you. You're trying yeah. to it's not just you're trying to get drivers to change their behavior. You're trying to redefine an ur an urban space. Yeah. In a way that nothing it else wasn't designed to be. Yeah. And, and no one else has been schooled on this redesign. No one else uh, drivers are are told to watch for bikes, but drivers are also told to a whole, whole lot of other things. Yeah. In order to be a proper driver. So all of that said, why are you throwing your fucking poop? Your your poop, your we are several hundred thousand years past the point where we as a society decided that throwing one's own poop was an acceptable form of expressing our distaste and displeasure. And you are several years past the potty training stage, sir. Yes. Where it's acceptable to poop in public. You know, when you're, when you're four and you poop in public, everybody's just like, it's cool. It's cool, man. We get it. It's cool. Yeah, we know. It's when, gonna happen. when you're 35 and you're shitting and throwing it around, it's not cute anymore. No. It's, it's, it, I could get it when you're four of us go, oh, somebody pooped. Oh, who pooped? Did you poop? Yeah. You're 35. It's, n nobody's doing that anymore. Maybe you that's why I have, don't have kids because I've never thought that was cute. <laughs> Parents think their kids pooping is I the know. most adorable goddamn thing. They do, and they post pictures of the poop on Facebook. Okay, that, I've never seen. They I, do, like, oh, little Timmy used the potty, here's a picture, I don't care. Do I send you pictures of the litter box? No! We should. We should. That should be our Christmas card. <laughs> little Simba had a poop. <laughs> Why? Ah. Uh. What? There is nothing that's making you. No situation is improved by throwing your own shit. No. I can't think of a single one. And if you guys try and respond, well, this situation would be improved. But you're they're wrong. They're going to come up with something. And we're like, well. Well, guess no. what? You're still wrong. You're wrong, and you're an asshole. Or if we're trying to scare away a German scat performer, no. You're wrong. <laughs> And you're an asshole. So you've made it worse. Just why? How the fucking... What was she supposed to do? Oh, you know what? I Now that you've thrown your own feces at my car, no. I see the error of my ways. Yeah, I, I, I did drift over into the lane. I get it now. I get and I didn't realize it until you threw your shit at me. That, that, that just, it all clicked into place. That that was what what wrapped it all together. Yeah. Oh, well, we haven't had a wonderful naked outburst in a while. Let's change that. <laughs> We've had a couple of half naked outbursts. Man performed helicopter moves with genitals in Edinburgh McDonald's counter. <laughs> Edinburgh. Actual helicopter Edinburgh. dick in the wild. Early morning so customers and staff at McDonald's in Edinburgh got some unexpected entertainment when a young man began dancing half-naked on counters in the restaurant. Edinburgh Sheriff's Court today, 29-year-old Ryan Dolan from Musselburg pled guilty to committing acts of public indecency. Uh, fiscal dispute Nicole Lavelle told uh, Sheriff Peter McCormick that Dolan came into the restaurant around 5 a.m., she said he stood about two meters away from the counter, adding, Out of the blue, he took down his trousers and pants off, 
showing his penis and testicle, and thereafter was dancing with his trousers down. He pulled his trousers back again, but he jumped across the front counter into the staff area. Dolan was told to leave, but he took his trousers and pants off again. And I, I want people at home are a bit confused. Trousers and pants? Yes, in places not America, pants mean underwear. Trousers yeah. mean pants. Um, he, quote, he grabbed his penis and started to play with it, said said the fiscal, uh, pretending to serve customers and started dancing again, carrying out helicopter-like moves with his penis. Okay, you have to wash your hands before you serve customers. <laughs> Everybody knows that. This went on for a few minutes before he jumped back into the front counter, still half naked. Dylan then pulled his trousers and pants back up and left. It is not the sausage triple stack people were hoping for for breakfast. <laughs> not the hotcakes they were hoping for. Uh, police have been contacted, and when shown CCTV footage, one of the officers recognized Dolan. He was arrested. Dolan had very little recollection of the incident. Of the incident. Um, uh, they, boisterous acts heavily fueled by alcohol. I, I have never been so drunk. I've decided, you know what? <laughs> You never jumped on the counter at a McDonald's and gave him the helicopter dick? No, I haven't. It's not time for a show. They don't need to see that. No one... I mean, for fuck's sake, you're already eating at a McDonald's. You're having trouble with your meal to begin with. You don't need... What? I had McDonald's today. Why would you do that to yourself? Because the fries, man. Oh, Tara. Tara, 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 Tara. And I like, and I, I like the McNuggets. It's it's so bad for you. It is. It's terrible for me. I know. I just I it, it's. I was gonna go to Wawa and get a gobbler, but I was running late and I didn't have time. Wawa is a chain. I know here. what Wawa is. The gobbler is their seasonal sandwich. That's like turkey and stuffing and cranberry sauce, and they call it the, the Wawa gobbler. But I was running late, and I didn't have time to go get my Wawa gobbler today, so I just hit the <sighs> drive through Just don't, 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 your, your penis should, the only place your penis should come out in a McDonald's is the bathroom. Yeah. There's no other area of the McDonald's that is sanctioned for your dick. Also behind the counter, a lot of hot oil. That's, yeah, that's not a place you, you want to have your genitals flying around. And like having around. been burned with hot oil several times. Oh, yeah. Not, you don't want it. You don't want it in your nooks and crannies, man. Uh, you don't want that on that part of the McMuffin. Well, speaking of nooks and cran crannies, this is one all I, I expect to get all of the the puns off of this one. Holy shit! Man pulled bag of cocaine from penis after arrest for laughing at cops. Really? That is what? the worst magic trick ever. <laughs> like out of his urethra? How do you... <laughs> a man who laughed at police after they found no drugs in his pocket was later found to have hidden a bag of cocaine in his penis after or a like, strip search. Was he uncircumcised and just tucked it under the cover on the wagon? There's a lot better places to stash that. Newcastle man. Dear God. Newcastle man James Mason told officers, fuck off, you're not searching me, before saying, fuck, uh, ha ha, I told you I had fuck all on us, you mugs, when they found nothing in his pocket. 21 year old was arrested for being drunk and disorderly after swearing at police one time too many, but on the way to the police station, officers witnessed Mason fiddling with his socks before putting his hand down his pants. When they reached oh, the police station. That was right. Demanded he strip search. Mason then removed his trousers, pulled back his foreskin, and pulled a white bag of powder from his penis. The defendant was asked what it was, and he replied that it was cocaine. It, I, 
That that's slightly less terrifying <laughs> than the Are you urethra. Guys, not like he pulled it out of his urethra because that seems like it would be painful. Like I've never had a penis, but it seems like that would be unpleasant. Hey Rocky, watch me pull a felony out of my dick. <laughs> but like, have oh, Bullwinkle, that trick never works. How do I put this delicately? I guess I can't. Having experienced an uncircumcised penis, I didn't really think there was that much room. It, do, it didn't seem that stretchy to me. <laughs> like, it didn't seem like you could... It didn't seem like it was made out of the same stuff as a pelican's beak. <laughs> that could just expand for storage. Like, I didn't realize that. About the foreskin. <laughs> Chris... <laughs> We just, we went to the... You have the best descriptions. We went to the zoo not long ago. We actually saw a pelican. Now that's all I can fucking now think of. Now you're never going to look at one the same way ever again. He just has an uncircumcised beak, man. <laughs> <laughs> just of all the place, I mean, you know, I, you got to respect him with the originality. He didn't go for his ass this time. Yeah. He went for the dick. He was like, well, you, you know, everybody puts it up their ass. I'm going to mix it They're up a little. definitely going to look there. I, I'm, I'm going to make, I'm, I'm going to, you know. I'm pretty simple. I'm, I'm going to be a giant lump on my dick. I'm just going to tell them I have an STD. <laughs> sure. <clears throat> I just. Yeah. I just, you, you, the four, it, good God, if it had broken. Can it break? The no, oh, the, the bag. Cocaine. Okay. The cocaine, not the force. Oh, can you just like burst that open? That sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, if it, it, all that cocaine on your dick. That would get itchy. I think. No, you'd, you you would never your dick would never feel anything ever again. Yeah. You you they would just be numb forever. I just. What? How did you hi. think? Hi, come here. Say hi to the internet. Hi, Simba. Hi. I don't really know what's happening right now. Hi there. Hi. What are you doing? He's a good boy. Okay, I'm done okay, with you're this. done. Okay, yeah. bye bye. Oh, he's a good boy. He's such a big mush now. He uses his head as a battering ram. He's a good boy. Uh, so yeah, the first thing we learned this week is it's, that's not a good place to stuff things. No. It's, no, that's not good storage. It, it, in fact, it, the foreskin's designed the absolute opposite. It's to keep shit out. Yeah. It's, it's not. And you're almost certainly going to get some kind of infection. Yeah, don't, don't put cocaine in your foreskin. God. Ah! Okay, that was my revenge, I guess, huh? What Did happened? Hit my leg. Oh. What? <laughs> Like, he hasn't done that in a while. No. All right. Well. <laughs> How dare you exploit me? Yeah, I guess I learned my lesson. Uh, we, we've learned that um, McDonald's is not a good place to demonstrate your uh, stupid dick tricks. No. That's... Th there, there are websites for that. You've you've been to shows for exactly for that. that exactly. Yes. Go take that shit to Vegas and make some money. <laughs> not the fucking McDonald's. You're not going to get tips. You're going to get arrested. We've learned there is no circumstance in which throwing your own shit will improve the situation. None. None. No matter what the YouTube comments tell you. Yeah, the YouTube comments are full of shit. So... I, I'm preemptively. If 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 you try to come up with some scenario, not only are you still wrong, now you're an asshole. Yeah. So you're both of those things. Um, we've learned that you shouldn't always. You don't have to obey the talkie box. It's not a law. You don't. They haven't risen up yet. You can still disobey them. You're not going to violate your end user license agreement if you don't take a left on main. Apple's terms and conditions are pretty draconian, but not that draconian just yet. And finally, we've learned that Black Friday is just a thinly veiled cover for the suburbanites purge. to beat the shit out of one another. Just, just to remember what it feels like to have adrenaline again.
and then yeah. crawl back to the Starbucks when it's over and realize you're dead inside. Hey, I like Starbucks. Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and on that happy note. Ah. Uh...